is up guys, RarXDNA here, and today we're going to be going through a visual novel. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a visual novel is, it's basically a story with uh, visuals. And sometimes you get choices, and it's pretty cool, I like them. And mostly are all anime styled based, and I love anime, as you guys would probably know. If not, then now you know. Alright, so I guess we can get started. The visual novel I'm playing today is going to be uh, Sakura Spirit. So, uh, I don't know how long I'm going to make these episodes. Uh, it's going to be a lot of me just reading, <laughs> but uh, I know in the past I've been really bad at that. But uh, this is where I get better, hopefully, maybe. If I stumble my words, I'm sorry. You can make fun of me in the comment section, it doesn't matter. Anyways, <laughs> let's let's uh, do the preferences. We'll have the music on low. Uh, yes, all transactions. Transact I can't even read already, and I'm fucking just reading the fucking preferences. Anyways, uh, no, stop skipping, scene message, blah blah blah, fast forward speed fast, volume high, that seems pretty good. Alright, so let's start. Every person has a dream they wish to pursue. Yet as people, they <laughs> yet as people grow up, they often are forced to realize that obtaining that dream is just that, a childish illusion that is simply impossible to reach out for. At least that's what most people say. Th then what about those who do accomplish their dreams? Are they merely incredible, incredibly lucky? Dead. Every man has a dream they want to accomplish. However, there is something really important you should know, my boy. That a real man doesn't give up on their dreams, on their dream. No matter what overwhelming challenges they might face. I still remember those foolish words my dad used to say. Yet despite their silly nature, I found myself inspired by them. Ever since I was a child, I was interested in martial arts. I didn't, I didn't, ma it didn't matter whether it was, I was fall. it was, hello, oh, jeez. It didn't matter, <laughs> I'm already stumbling, damn it. It didn't matter whether it was following a match on television or reading a manga about some heroic martial artist. It was always, it's always been a dream of mine for me to become a martial artist someday. Of course, it was a bit childish to admit I wanted to learn martial arts to be able to be a hero. Well, at my age, I already came to understand superheroes were a part of our imagination. I still hold, I still held that desire to use my power for others, for their, others their sake. That was kind of like a typo, I guess. My name is Gushiken Takihiro, 17 years old, rising, rising judo star. And no, that's not me doing some smug talking. I'm actually about to take part in a competition two weeks from now that will make or break my career at an international level. Of course, I was excited about the opportunity to finally accomplish my dreams and represent my country at a sport that I loved that I loved but at but the same excitement also made me feel incredibly nervous well these were some thoughts haunted my mind a familiar voice resounded from outside the window oi takakun get your butt in gear hey i'll be right there koyomi if i butcher these names i'm so sorry <laughs> I really am. I'm pretty sure there's like, like, I don't know, I'm not good with these names, sometimes I just get confused. But anyways, not wanting to keep Yomi waiting, I quickly dashed towards the front of the door to let her in, not even realizing that I was still in my pajamas. Just a moment, Yomi. Gotta grab my shoes, and then we can go to school. Really? I didn't know our school had a strict uniform or sleepwear policy, dummy. Nice jammies. <laughs> By the way, did you borrow them from your mom? For a moment, my eyes drifted downwards, noticing that I was indeed wearing my pajamas. I let out a groan of annoyance and marched back towards my room. Bah. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what it is. Bah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my jammies. The Golden Knight is a famous comic book hero in the West. Besides, not everyone prefers to sleep naked like you. Mumbling those words, I started stripping. Out of my clothes, seemingly, seeming, 
seemingly not minding the presence of a girl behind me at all. That that <laughs> that happened one time, and you know it. And you know it was super hot that evening. And jeez, <laughs> warn me before you strip in front of me, you idiot. <laughs> Damn, she sounds manly compared to like my voice. <laughs> You didn't mind it when we were little. Perhaps you want me to turn around instead? No, stop. Don't make me kick your ass. Damn, dude, she's a bitch. <laughs> Deciding I had teased her enough, I quickly pulled on my pants and resumed w working on the remaining few items of clothing before I, suitably, before I was suitably dressed for school. Besides, I had a reason for being so distracted. You've been distracted a lot lately. What's going on in that hollow skull of yours? It's the upcoming match. I've got no idea how anyone can remain calm when an international career is at stake. It wouldn't be surprised I wouldn't be surprised if I started making up enough doomsday scenarios to fill up an apocalypse journal. I mean genre. The apocalypse genre. Oh right, the judo thing. I'm sure you'll do fine. I've seen some of your matches. And you kick butt. And of course, if you're really worried, you can always just you can always pray. Pray. What? Didn't what? Didn't tell me what don't tell me you didn't know. You don't know. It's one of the school's legends. There's some shrine up in the forest. What if you pray to it? It will give you good luck. Ichikawa Ichi yeah, Ichikawa son said his sister prayed to the, to it the night before her exam, and she got 100%. A shrine that is said to give you good luck? Sounds bogus to me. But at this point, I'll try... I'll be trying out anything, I guess. Maybe I'll talk to our classmates to get the location of the shrine. Uh, I'm not exactly in the mood to get lost in the forest and turn into a Japanese Tarzan. Well, whatever. If you do go looking for... At least send me a message to let me know you are going to hurry up. Are you going to hurry up or are we just going to be late again? Oh shit, he's late. A hero is never too early, nor they are too late. They arrive precisely when needed. But for the sake of missing detention, let us hurry. That's a wizard, not a hero genius. How can you, one person be such a sports nerd and such a geek at the same time. Let's not forget that Cas Casanova the m and Man of the Year uh, candidate bits, they are important details. I doubt you qualify as either of them, Pajama Boy. Anyway, let us boldly go where everyone has gone before, to school. Ah, nerd. Later, nerd. <laughs> Several hours later. Da, 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 da. I don't know. He's a nerd. He's looking for. He's some judo champion dude. It had been during the afternoon when I finally had the chance to talk to my classmates. In an attempt to get an idea of where that shrine Kiyomi had mentioned before, Koyami, Koyami, I think it is. Not I'm reading it. Had mentioned before had been located. Gym was the last thing on the menu for today, so once we started getting ready to go home, I approached the guys. Hey, Ichikawa, is it true that your sister discovered some shrine that is said to grant you some luck? Oh, oh. <laughs> let me guess, you also want to date her. Well, even though I do have to admit she's very attractive, I'm afraid she's already going out with someone. Not to mention, you're not her type. I already got my hands full dealing with Koyama. You keep your sister where she is. Jokes aside, I'm more interested in the shine. Did she mention where she found it? I didn't know there was anything near the forest aside from the dojo. Oh, well, uh, she said something about <coughs> she said something about it being near the river and quite high up. I'll be honest. I didn't pay much attention when she was when she was going on about it. I mean, she was wearing this top, and it was tight. And stop, stop. We don't know. We don't know to hear. We don't want to hear. We don't need to hear the details. 
I doubt anyone wants to hear you daydream about your sister, my friend. Anyone else who heard about the shrine before? Uh, are you two talking about the luck shrine in the forest? Yes, one, the one and only. There's supposed to be one near the river, according to Ichikawa's sister. Uh, I don't know about that. But there's this fury girl at the Asakura Dojo who knows more. Wait, are you talking about Arya -sama? Sama? Sama? Small, strong, and scary? <laughs> That's the one. Okay then. I can be a bit of more help. Takahiro kun. I know where that place is. I don't think Arya Senpai will let uh, I don't think Arya Senpai would like it if you end up visiting her with your unusual with, with your usual tricks in mind. Do I need to remind you of what happened last time you tried to peek at her to peek at her after she finished her training? There was blood, sweat and tears. Shut up! I do not go peeking there. That's slander, that is. I could sue you. I do not look into changing rooms after practice when Arya-sama Arya -sama is showering. Oh, and you haven't seen her naked yet? I've seen a bit of side boob, but the non-hole I found doesn't really let me get a good view of there we go. Someone called the cops. Peepi -pee Nichikawa has confessed. I playfully patted Nichikawa's shoulder while I turned around, grabbing my bag in the process while I prepared to leave. Anyways, thanks for the tip, Nichikawa. I'll let I'll let the judge know you were most helpful during your interrogation. This is unfair. I was scored. I won't say anything until I speak to my lawyers. Oh, nah, that was weird. Dude was peeping on the chick. What a scumbag. Bam, bam. After school, after school was over, I decided to bet my... <laughs> after school was over, I decided to bet my chances on a little bit of intel I had obtained from the classmates. If I'm already serves me right, then Arya Senpai was about to be practicing at the dojo today. Of course I knew her. In the end, she was a judo student like me. But for some reason, I heard that she declined the invitation to compete in serious tournaments ever since a certain event happened. Arya Senpai, are you around? While I shouted her name, I parked my bike in the nearby stand and looked around for her. Hiya! Hiya! <laughs> Sound effects I've never met any. Hey. Follow the shots. And you find the senpai. Well, I knew that was that easy. I grinned briefly as I saw my senpai seemingly being occupied with the practicing of a serious of, of serious emotions, almost as if she was fighting an imaginary opponent. Perhaps it was a perfect opportunity to get closer and surprise her a little. Slowly I snuck over, making sure to make as little noise as possible. Before I reached with my hand towards her shoulder. Arya At the touch against at the touch against her shoulder, Arya Senpai reacted, she grabbed my she grabbed hold of my hand and with a loud grunt shifted her weight, curling and tipping me over her shoulder. It was all I could do to brace myself for the impact as I hit the ground like a sack of potatoes. Aya! No one sneaks up on the great Kunuichi Aria. Oh? Takabuzu? Bozu? I didn't realize it was you. I'm sorry, are you okay? Kunuichi? More like a Tasmanian devil. That throw didn't hold a shred of mercy in it. There's no, there's no mercy in the ring, Takabozu. Better you learn that lesson now than in two weeks' time. Let me guess, you want to do some sparring, right? I actually came here to ask you something, but perhaps a little sparring wouldn't hurt after all. Oh, 
What did you want to ask me? What did you want to ask? We've got all afternoon for the sparring, and I could do with a bit of a break anyway. Where to start, senpai? You used to be part of a big and important... You used to take part in big and important matches, didn't you? Get nervous before the big moment? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Oh yeah, huh. This one time, I got so nervous I hid in the kitchen cupboards until Dad found me and dragged me to the car by my collar. Of course, that was when I was, like, eight. Well, obviously I can't go and hide from for my match, but some friends of mine need made this rather silly suggestion to go and pray or something. Honestly, at this point, I take anything if it calms my nerves a little. Taka Bozu. Taka Bozu. Are you sure about this? You mean you mean the match? Of course I am. I've been practicing judo ever since I could walk. This is my best chance to represent this country and in the sport I love to. Hmm. Senpai seemed to think of for quite a long time. All the while tapping at the side of her jaw with her finger. With her finger. Eventually she snapped her fingers and grabbed hold of my of me tight. Alright. I'll tell you the way to the shrine, but it's not gonna be that's it's not gonna be a simple clap your hands together and bob your head. <laughs> what? But it's not gonna be a simple clap your hands together and bob your head. You need to give something to the shrine, something of worth. I guess I'll figure out by the time you got there. Anyways, thanks, Senpai. I appreciate it. We? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going with you. I've got training to do myself. Besides, you gotta take this step yourself. I can give you a map and an easy way to get back there. Get back there. Get back here. But you'll be on your own. Afraid so. Tiger Buzza, let me just grab some paper. I'll draw you a map. Draw you. A, I'll draw out a map. I'll draw. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know why I'm still trying to do that line. After Arya, 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 yeah, Arya uh, returned. I followed the directions the mat had given me. Surprisingly enough, it was oh fudge! <laughs> I don't know how to go back. Well, you guys read that. I'll just continue. Anyways, this episode gonna be 20 minutes long, so we got a few more minutes left. So let's just let's just continue the story. Sorry for my reading. I'll get better eventually. Anyways, just like uh, just like Donnie, you'll be able to see the dojo roof from some from anywhere on the hill. The first nerve by the dojo was my first challenge to overcome. I alone, I alone, a lone path coiling along the trees. And there was, and there was a river Akawa's sister had mentioned. Ichikawa's sister had mentioned in the distance. Of course, I decided to stay with my senpai's directions. And after an hour or so, I arrived at the shrine. The shrine itself seemed surprisingly well ma maintained, despite being in the middle of nowhere. It made me wonder if someone secretly lived here. Perhaps some secret martial- Oh, fudge! <laughs> I keep skipping, and I can't go back, I think. Fudge. Oh well. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. The shine itself seems surprisingly well maintained. Oh wait, I did go back! Oh, I don't want to do that. No, no, no. Perhaps some martial arts master already- Wait. Already daydreams of the potential hermit having- Hidden themselves in the shrine to prepare themselves for an upcoming clash between good and evil, starting to dwell in my mem in my mind. And yet nobody is around. I sighed in annoyance at the fact that the shrine grounds seemed to be pretty se seemed to be entirely aband abandoned. It was mysterious how the building seemed well maintained, but for the time being. I decided to focus on the reason behind my visit. 
It took a f it took only a few moments before I gathered the courage to enter the temple itself, and inside found a rather fancy-looking shrine of sorts at the back of the hall. Guess guess that's the shrine everyone's talking about. Silently, I folded up the map I was given, and after putting it inside my bag, approached the shrine. I was kind of uh, skeptical about the whole religious aspect, so I didn't hold too much confidence in the idea of some shrine gathering, uh, granting me the luck I would need to win a ma this match. In fact, I didn't really think luck is going to help much in the match like this. In my opinion, martial arts didn't hold any place for luck. A match was all about using the knowledge you gathered from the experiences you obtained in previous matches, and a nice bit of talent to help guide you through the match. There was simply no room for something superstitious like luck. Clearly, this would be this would be uh, this would be a match where my experience and talents would be tested against that of my opponent. Nothing more and nothing less. How curious. The boy doesn't believe in superstition, and yet this child of man stands here in a place of power, surrounded by the very thing he denounces. Upon hearing the voice, I looked around trying to find the source, but there was no one to be seen. Who's there? A classic question to ask, and yet the right thing to ask would be, where am I? What do you mean? Obviously, you're here, hidden, hiding nearby, perhaps. But, entertain me for a little longer. Why did, why did you come here? If you do not believe in things like luck, I came here to prepare myself. Oh, do enlighten me about what this something might be that you are preparing yourself for? I felt a little bit annoyed at the questions, but perhaps if I kept talking to her, I would be able to find out where that girl was hiding. I'm preparing for a competition, a judo match. Judo? What's that? Seriously, you don't know what judo is? It's a highly skilled combat art. Ah, so you're a warrior. Hesitant. Hesitant hesitant to go into battle and come here in hope of finding the resolve to fight. I'm not sure about the warrior part. How fortunate. It just happens that there is need for one of your kin. My kin? A hero. This shrine is meant to be blessed heroes like yourself. However, every, gay hero, every great hero has a sacrifice has to sacrifice something in return for the shrine's blessing sounds like what the other men the others mentioned however I do like your version more laughing briefly at the story that the hidden girl was telling about about the shrine I decided to play along and clap my hands together in a prayer so what's next toss my allowance into the prey box don't be silly Money of little importance to a hero. For you, the sacrifice will be something more, much more interesting and precious to you. I'll look forward to see what destiny has in store for you. As if a cue for the moment the girl's words reached my ear, I felt nauseous, like my head was spinning widely. Slowly, I staggered backwards, collapsing onto my back. And while my vision started to grow hazy, I heard footsteps approach me. Good luck. You're going to need it. Alright guys, that was episode 1 of Sakura Spirit. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I know my reading's kind of awful, but it's going to get better. Don't worry. I'll get better at this. Practice makes perfect. That's what they say. And I'm going to leave you guys off here. So this is the demon mystery girl I was talking earlier. And uh, yeah yeah so I'm gonna save it <laughs> let's do that 
Uh, this is me, my playthrough of it. We're gonna save it on slot 8. Return, and we're also gonna quick save here. Cool. So next episode, we'll continue this. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and if you guys know any other visual novels that you'd like me to freaking do, because I'm still gonna continue this one, but if you, there's another one you guys want me to do later on, let me know. Alright, see you guys.